As a big guy trapped in a scrawny guy's body, Thanksgiving is really the holiday for me. But after a tough year of a bad economy, meaning that too many of my friends are unemployed or underemployed, I'm really looking forward to a time to reflect and think about the things that I'm th thankful for. Like a lot of you, I'm thankful for the friends and family who've stuck with me through thick and thin. And I'm thankful for the terrific Thanksgiving meal I'll eat and the people I'll eat it with. And I'm really thankful for some progressive public policy victories we've had this past year. Governor Dayton and his education team are working to get beyond No Child Left Behind so every teacher can teach to every child's potential. <laughs> the compromise to end the government shutdown was a mixed bag. But at least Governor Dayton and his allies in the legislature stopped the worst kind of steal from the middle class, give to the rich policies that conservatives had pushed. And we got a bonding bill to put Minnesota construction workers back to work rebuilding the state. Unlike places like Alabama, we got through the year without terrible anti-immigration, anti-women, anti-voting legislation becoming law. Because of Minnesota's long-standing commitment to progressive public policy, I'm thankful to live in a state that's been named the hippest, the most LGBT-friendly, and the healthiest. So from everyone at Minnesota 2020 Hindsight, have a wonderful Thanksgiving.